Transparency bias. Ever give a presentation, convinced your nerves are flashing neon signs? That's the illusion of transparency playing tricks on you. We often think our feelings are clear as day for everyone to see, like we're broadcasting on a giant screen. But the truth is, others might not pick up on your anxiety nearly as much as you think. This experience highlights a common human bias. The transparency bias affects us in many ways. We sometimes think we can easily read people's emotions, even when they might be hiding them like poker champions. It's a funny twist. We worry that everyone sees right through us, while also assuming we can see right through them, even if neither is entirely true. Illusion of validity. Ever feel like you're Sherlock Holmes, solving a mystery with every single clue pointing to the same culprit? That's the illusion of validity taking over. Our brains love a good story, and when evidence, even shaky evidence, seems to perfectly fit our hunch, we get a big aha moment. But here's the twist. We might miss other clues or misunderstand the ones we have entirely. This bias can lead us to be overly confident in our decisions, even if they're not entirely accurate. It's like having blinders on, only seeing what confirms our initial guess and missing the bigger picture. Illusory superiority. Ever feel like you're a superstar driver? A kitchen whiz like a famous chef or the life of the party? That's something called illusory superiority, making you feel special. Our brains are like cheerleaders, always pumping us up and making us think we're better than others, even when maybe we're not. We tend to forget our weaknesses and focus on our strengths, believing we're way above average in most things. It's like everyone thinks they live in a place where everyone is above average, but the reality is, we all have our own strengths and weaknesses. Not everyone can be the best at everything. Na V Cynicism Ever suspect your friend cheats every time they win a board game while forgetting that sneaky move you made yourself? That's Na V Cynicism at play. Our brains can be funny. We might think everyone else is out for themselves all the time, like they're playing life on super selfish mode while we see ourselves as totally fair. The truth is, most people aren't that scheming. We might miss opportunities to connect because we're too busy suspecting everyone's motives. It's like wearing blinders that only show us the selfish side of others while missing their genuine actions. Overconfidence bias. Ever totally crush a quiz, feeling like a genius, then bomb the next one even though you were just as sure? That's our brains playing tricks on us again. It's called the overconfidence effect. We tend to be way more confident in our answers than we maybe should be. Imagine being 99% certain you're right, only to discover you're wrong 4 out of 10 times. This can lead to risky choices, missing chances to learn from mistakes, and a bit of a blow to the ego when reality hits. Planning fallacy. Ever look at your massive to-do list and feel like you can conquer it all in an afternoon? That's the planning fallacy, making you a champion underestimator. Our brains are funny like that. They underestimate how long things will take, making us think tasks are quicker and easier than they really are. We forget about those unexpected bumps in the road, underestimate the actual time needed, and then scramble to meet deadlines. Imagine planning a road trip thinking every light will be green feels fantastic on paper, but reality throws in those pesky red lights and detours along the way. Restraint bias. Ever think you're a self-control superhero? easily resisting fries on a diet? That's the restraint bias in action. We tend to overestimate our willpower, picturing ourselves calmly saying no to temptation. But here's the funny part. Cravings can be sneaky villains, and resisting them in the moment can be way harder than we think. It's like believing you can walk through a sprinkler park without getting a single drop on you sometimes. Those fries are just too tempting to resist, even for the strongest willpower. Trait Ascription Bias Ever feel like you're a total chameleon, adapting to every situation? But everyone else seems stuck in their ways, like a box of crayons with only a few colors? That's the trait ascription bias at play. We tend to see ourselves as complex and ever-changing, with moods and behaviors that shift all the time. But for others, we get stuck on a first impression. They become predictable, like a one-trick pony. The funny thing is, they probably see themselves as chameleons too, while judging us in the same way. Third-person effect. 
ever scroll through social media, seeing all these wild articles people share and think, wow, this stuff must be brainwashing everyone. That's the third person effect. We tend to believe crazy messages totally control other people's minds, turning them into followers of whatever they read. The funny part is, we think we're media masters, immune to catchy headlines or persuasive arguments. The truth is, those same messages can be slowly shaping our opinions too, even if we don't suspect it. We might be just as susceptible as everyone else. Bias blind spot. Imagine we're all detectives, great at spotting clues of unfair thinking in others. But here's the funny part. We have a big blind spot right in our detective kit. We miss the clues about our own unfair thinking, like everyone else is walking around with giant floppy sun hats flopping over their eyes, while we think we're walking around bareheaded, seeing everything perfectly. This makes it tough to be totally fair because our own hidden hunches can sneak in without us even noticing. False consensus. Imagine being super sure everyone secretly loves your unusual preferences, like pineapple on pizza. That's our brain playing tricks. It makes us think everyone agrees with us, even if they're hiding their true feelings. Because our own ideas seem totally normal, it can be a real surprise or cause some awkward silences when we discover others don't share our enthusiasm. This is the false consensus effect. We believe everyone sees the world the same way we do, even when that's clearly not the case. False uniqueness bias. Ever think your idea is the next million dollar masterpiece? That's our brain being a little too enthusiastic. We all tend to believe our thoughts, experiences, and even possessions are way more special and uncommon than they really are. It's like being the main character in your own movie, but sometimes reality reveals others share similar stories. This is the false uniqueness bias. We see ourselves as unique, but the truth is, the world might be full of others with similar ideas and experiences. For effect. Ever get chills from a fortune cookie that seems to know you perfectly? That's not magic, it's the Fora effect. Our brains are wired to find meaning in vague descriptions, even if they could apply to anyone. Horoscope columns are another example. Filled with general statements that sprinkle in things that fit many people, they suddenly make us think they're psychic detectives. This is why fortune tellers can be popular. They use vague but relatable descriptions that tap into our desire to see ourselves reflected, even if it's not entirely unique. Asymmetric insight. Ever think you know your best friend better than they know you? That's a common trick our brains play on us. This is called the illusion of asymmetric insight. It leads you to believe you have your friend completely figured out, like you've cracked a secret code to their personality. But the funny thing is, they probably think the same way about you. In reality, it's likely a more balanced situation you both know each other pretty well. This can sometimes lead to misunderstandings because you might assume you know their motives better than they do themselves. Illusion of control. Ever feel like you're totally in charge, even when stuff happens that's completely out of your hands? That's the illusion of control taking the wheel. Our brains are wired to give us an inflated sense of control over random events. Remember blowing on dice for good luck? That's a classic example. We tend to believe our actions or habits can affect things we can't control, which can feel good in the moment, but might not always be true.